I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. I'm making pesetas while they're talking, talking shit. Nah, I don't give a fuck. Don't waste my time for this. Alrighty, guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. And today is a tutorial on. Hold on a second, get this. Out of this real quick. God damn it. Hold on. Okay. Point the computer. Okay. Alright, so today is a tutorial on the iPhones, on every iPhone of the Cydia Impactor. Now, I have the 6. As you guys can see, I have the 6. And it's a working good phone. Right here, we're going to show you a tutorial how to get that on your iPhone. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and show you guys what you should do. Now, before I take this off, which I'm going to do it now anyway. So, alright, I'm going to leave my phone here. My spurger just went off. Alright, anyway, so as you can see, my CD impactor says complete. It says complete. What you need to do is you're going to have to download. If like the ice spoofer is down, you want to go to the website, pull up the website on your browser, on your web browser, and you keep you want to keep your phone plugged up at all times. Keep your iPhone plugged up at all times. No iPhone, but from the 5s, SE, and up will work for this. 4, 4S, and 5, 5C will not work if you have a 5C and all those lower. And if you have an iPad or a lower generation of iPod, it will not work. So, to bypass this Apple developer, you don't need to know Apple developer. You don't need to download the Exidia Extractor or whatever the fuck is on there. Okay, so what you're going to do is you need to go to the website, City Impactor, so you want to go to City Impactor, and you want to go to the second one, right here, to the second one, bottom one. Pull it back just a little bit. You want to go to the second one. Now I did download it on mine, so I don't have to re-download it. You want to download the newest version, and I've got the newest version, and it'll show an update. It'll show 9.52. So after that. You want to go to iSpoofer website and get the IPA for your iPhone. Now, this will work, like I said, this will work for the only the, the uh, things, the only these that are capable of uh, putting on your phone. These lower than that will not work. Like the 5C, the 5, the iPhone 5, the uh, 4S, the 4, they have cleared the law. The lower iPads will not work either. Only the higher iPads that has the, I, the iOS 12 and uh, the iOS 11 and up. So you want to download IPA, and once you do that, you want to go find the file, and it's right here. So now, after you go on this thing and you download it, this will show complete. I'm going to pull this right back up. And it's going to show to install the impactor. Again, but I'm not going to do that. So you want to hit run. You want to, down, to put this down. And you want to go to your... I don't know why I just put this down. But you want to go to your downloads. And if you have it Windows, this will work. For Windows, the Lynx, or the Mac. It doesn't matter. So... As long as you have the iTunes, it'll work. It's not, well, you, if you already have iTunes or don't, it'll work either way. So you want to pull and drag this to this right here. And it's going to give you this. Put your email in. But you want to go to the website under your Apple ID. I will show that in a sec. So give me a sec. I will show you guys in, the, in just a second. Okay, put that in. I'm not starting that yet. 
I'm going to go to this. You want to go to your ID, Apple ID. I'm going to pull mine up. Okay. I'm already signed in, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So, now as you're going to your... Okay, let me go ahead and put my password in. I'm going to turn this so you guys can't see it. All right, my password is in. We're going to go ahead and click it. And after you sign in, I'm going to go ahead and... And if you have your two-factor authorization, you will need to allow it and get the verification code to put this in so you can get into your account. Once you do that, you will have the... the, the oh, you will have the chance to get into your account Sorry, something fell. I picked it up. Get your account and have it verified. And keep, like I said, keep your phone plugged up to the computer at all times. It don't matter what computer. It can be older, it can be newer. It doesn't matter. All right, so right now, this is my iPhone 6. We are going to go all the way down to Manage ID. And once you click on Manage Apple ID, you want to log in again. So I'm going to log in again. Give me a sec. Okay. Alright, so log in. And you have, to, you have to do the same method on your phone. You get two factor and you put it inside of your box. And once you do that, you get get straight in okay so now in your settings of your account you do want to do something on the non Apple stuff now not that all will work trust me so we need to go all let's see all the way uh, down to where it says app specific passwords and you click generate you type your password in I'm going to do this real quick. Okay, so now you've got that. Now you have your own specific password. You want to put a specific password in there or this will not work. And you want to copy, paste it. And I'm going to look at, watch my iPhone. You know, watch my iPhone. Right here by the Magic Carp Jump. You will see it come up, back up on here. Alright, so it's doing it. It only takes about two minutes. And it's done. And once that is done, you should not have any errors. Unless you have didn't generate your Pacific password like I said I will say it again to do this you have to have a specific password to generate to put this in CD impact or any it's any I the IPA will work on your iPhone any IPA trust me and I am a pro at this because I just now got this Pokemon go back on my phone because the spoofer is down I spoofer is down at this moment because Apple provoked it. And once you get into your phone, it'll say your own email instead of the working name. And you will be able to log back in, spoof, and play your Pokemon Go again. Now, if this is down on Community Day, like say like for My Kit Community Day or Ralts Community Day or Slack Off Community Day, you get this chance to put this on your phone. And if you're not able to put CD Impactor on your computer and you don't have storage, you're going to have to clean storage to put this uh, Pokemon Go back onto your iPhone. The only way to do it is that. But, the, while it's doing that, you do not unplug the phone. Do not unplug your iPhone or it will stop and it will cut off and it won't go to work in starting 
continuing the process. Because if you unplug it, it will stop the process and it will give you an error. So don't do it. Any error it gives you, it will say phone unplugged or whatever. It will cut you off, then it will end up not going on your phone. Any app that you are wanting on this iPhone, on any iPhone, could be the XS Max, could be the XR, could be the 6, could be the 6 Plus. It could be any phone that you're wanting to put anything on. But Pokemon Go will not work on 4, 3G, iPhone 3, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, 5C, and that's it. So, it will not work with this. So you have to keep a plug. I say, not saying Pokemon Go. So watch my phone. Watch right here, right by Magic Carp Jump, and you'll see it pop right back up. Watch it. Now, it's now on AR. Let's see, yeah, yeah, ARM64. Watch it as this puts it back on there. Let me just decide so you guys can see. And it should work on your phone as you do if you're doing it wrong you still need to do the Pacific password deal or this will not work permanently this will not work at all you've got to do all the steps that I'm doing to get this to work anything but that will work and if you get no error you've done it correctly so here it go get ready to see it on my phone Extracting the package. Now, right here is where it's going to show up. You guys are going to see it right under Gmail, and it's going to pop up right there. Because I have no room for the other two screens. It's verifying the application. This will work on the phones that I have said several times. There it is, you guys. It has complete. Pokemon Go is now back on your phone. The Ice Paper is now back on your phone. And if you did all these methods, you guys, you will see, if you press on it, you will see your own email. Own email show up. As you guys can see, my email is showing up on there. And if you do this many, many, many times, when it, go, when it goes down with the other mode, if this will work perfectly, there there'll be no errors, no nothing. See, it sees those my email. You press on it and you hit trust. And once you trust that, you're ready to go. You have your spoofing app back. So that is the way to get iSpoofer back onto your phone in the Cedia Extractor uh, Impactor way. So I thank you guys for watching this video. Tune in for another vlog. Rapping music is coming back soon. I don't win, but I'll get it done soon. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Peace out. I'll see you guys later. Peace.